Hi, I'm Troy Smutka, operator of Great Day on the Water Guide Service. I uh, welcome you to our pilot episode of Fishing and Hunting the North Country. Uh, in these full-length episodes, uh, we have two goals, and that is to educate you and entertain you uh, about fishing, uh, freshwater fishing through open water and through the ice, uh, and hunting ducks and geese in the upper Midwest. Uh, as far as educating you, we're hoping to show the connection between uh, weather conditions, time of year, water temperature, fish location, and strategies and techniques for catching walleyes, northerns, uh, muskies, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, and panfish, including crappie, sunfish, and perch, as well as the connection between uh, weather conditions and time of uh, the season and decoys and calling to get more waterfowl uh, in close, ducks and geese in close in the upper Midwest. Um, and then the uh, entertainment part, we're hoping then to provide you or show you some great uh, video of hunting and fishing going on uh, with the backdrop of our beautiful outdoors uh, in the North Country. Um, we're going to start out with one episode a month uh, and we're hoping that as demand calls for it from subscribers and advertisers that uh, there will be a need for us to increase that to two episodes a month and hopefully eventually to weekly. So if you like what you see, uh, subscribe to our channel share it with other people, get the word out to other people, and hopefully we can increase the episodes and uh, help entertain people as well as educate them on chasing freshwater fish and ducks and geese uh, in the North Country. Uh, we're going to start out, our first episode is going to be about uh, fishing for walleyes uh, on rivers in the early spring. We're going to take a look at fishing uh, uh, from shore on small rivers for walleyes and pike and, and other fish in February, and then going to larger rivers fishing from a boat uh, for walleyes in March. So uh, sit back and enjoy and again and remember if you like what you see uh, subscribe and share it with others and let's get out uh, on the rivers here after some walleyes. Okay. Hi, uh, we're here by a small river uh, meandering through a town. If you're not able to get out on a big river uh, in a boat like we talked about before, uh, springtime, uh, early mid-spring offers a lot of opportunities on small rivers like this to shore fish for walleyes. Uh, just check your local regulations and make sure that uh, the stretch river you want to fish is open or if it's open, if it's catch and release, sometimes that's the case too. Uh, but great opportunity uh, to catch walleyes. We're right in the middle of a small town here. Uh, so we're going to go see what we can do and see if we can get a few. Okay, we're here on the shore, small, small river, uh, running through a small town in central Minnesota here. I'm going to show you what we're using. We're just using a light, uh, this is a uh, BMC Moon Eye jig. It's a aspirin head jig with flat sides so it tracks straight and doesn't roll when you're uh, moving it and we're just swimming it along. We've got a three inch uh, Berkeley Gulp, uh, actually this is a Berkeley Power Bait, uh, twister tail or grub on there. Um, on this wide gap uh, BMC Moon Eye Jig, this is a uh, 3 16 ounce because we're fishing about oh, four or five feet of water here. You could go down to an eighth ounce and even shallower water or less current and heavier current, more water. You could get up to a quarter or even a 3 8 ounce jig. And we're just casting this out. at it and see what we can find here. Hi, well, we are pitching the jigs like we showed earlier here in this pool on this small river. And uh, pretty decent bite too. Oh, well, quick release. <laughs> We're gonna let him go anyway. Uh, about a 25, 26 inch northern pike there. So uh, that's pretty typical of fish you'll catch on these small rivers. Uh, being through these small towns, uh, 20 pike in the 20s, walleyes in the teens, occasional walleye in the 20s. Um, so we're off to a good start here. We'll keep going and see what we can do. And uh, here we are. Uh, we're fishing out on uh, the small river we talked about uh, in town here. And uh, here's my dad Nate fishing with us today. And he's got about a 15 inch walleye here. Uh, we're just fishing uh, from shore with uh, quarter one eighth to one quarter ounce jigs. 
Uh, you can see it there, uh, uh, aspirin head shaped jig. That happens to be a VMC Moon Eye jig. And he's got a uh, three inch uh, twister, three inch twister tail on there, a uh, chartreuse color. And we're just slow rolling those uh, in the slower uh, current areas. And that's our uh, first uh, nice one of the day. We'll keep going here and see if we can get a few more. Hey, uh, we moved uh, locations here to another pool and just got another northern to hit here. See if we can land this one. He swallowed that bait nicely. So, got a, oh, about a 24 inch in here, probably, and he did it to me again. <laughs> But uh, still fun, uh, about a 24 inch pike there. Uh, we moved to another area here. We're in a little bit more trees here than we were before, but we're, we're clear to cast here. And we've got a, a pool here. We've got a bridge up there, bridge down here. And we've got a pool in here. And we're about halfway in between, so the water is slower in here. Um, and uh, walleyes, pike, and even carp in here. So we'll get back to it. I'll get a new jig tied on, because you got my jig, and we'll get back to it. Hi there, we're uh, still fishing the small river it's in a central Minnesota town here, uh, February, and uh, a little multi-species action, uh, and catching some walleyes. Uh, we didn't film it, but we've got a couple of carp, and now uh, we got a northern here. Uh, not a big one, but uh, still a lot of fun. We're fishing river, fishing with long poles, open water in February. Uh, again, just using a VMC Moon Eye Jig, quarter ounce, three inch. Uh, Berkeley Power Grub, uh, orange. This one we've been catching them on orange and, and chartreuse today. Uh, you know, stained water in the river. So uh, we'll keep going here and uh, see what we can do. Hey, there we go. We got another one. Uh, day two here on this small river in the small town. Uh, a little bit colder, a little bit breezier, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we remembered a net this time. We lost a few pike uh, yesterday. Out here, I uh, got a nice walleye here. Oh, I suppose it's about a 17, 18 incher. Uh, nice one. Um, it's the last day you can keep walleyes in northerns in Minnesota, so I think we're gonna have this one for dinner. So uh, we'll get back to it here. Um, my dad, who's behind the camera, just had a big pike on here a little while ago. Uh, we couldn't get him in, but uh, we'll keep at it here and see if we can get a few more. All right, and this is Corey Reese fishing with me today, and his son Wyatt. Uh, we're still down here on this river, small river, uh, winding through a town here in central Minnesota. Uh, the last day of the walleye northern season in Minnesota. Uh, Corey, oh, what do we figure? We got about five, six pound northern there. Uh, yeah, about six pounds. Uh, nice fat one there. Yeah, so uh, belly on it. hammered a jig right up by shore here. Uh, gave us a little fun time here. Got wrapped up in some brush <laughs> by the shore, but we got him out, saved the jig. Yeah. And... Uh, Gonna have some pike for supper. Yeah, we got uh, got uh, catching a few pike down here. Why well, I got a carp, got a nice walleye. So we'll keep at it and see what we can do here. Hi, Troy Smutka here, owner and operator of Great Day on the Water Guide Service. Uh, and welcome to fishing and hunting the North Country. We are just put the boat in on a large river here. It's March, dropped into a large river uh, in a large metropolitan area. Uh, we're looking for uh, spring river run walleyes. Uh, we're going to motor down a couple of miles here, and we've got a few spots to try. And we'll talk uh, when we get fishing more, we'll talk about the spots we're looking at and why we're fishing those spots. And hopefully, we'll catch a few walleyes while we're doing it. We are uh, working here. You can see we get zoomed in here and get a good look at the screen. We are following this sharp break. We got a sharp break on the shoreline here, and we're on this flat right in that 18, 19 foot range, uh, even to 20. Um, and we are using the, the Humminbird and the Mincota together uh, in conjunction together. I'm using the trolling motor to slow the drift. I'm slowing the boat so it drifts actually a little slower than our jigs are. So even though we're sliding downstream slowly, our jigs are downstream of us about a 45 degree angle out of the line that's allowing us to keep that bait up off the bottom and if we would pop a snag the bait is still downstream of us and we're moving towards it most of the time it'll come right out as we drift over it uh, versus if we had our jigs upstream we were drifting the boat faster than the jigs we'd need a much heavier jig to keep it down and we'd have a lot more problems with snags and we're just following that break speeding up slowing down with, um, as the current changes here to keep again keep us moving uh, the boat moving a little bit slower than the jig to keep the jig downstream of us 
and then we can always hit the spot lock if we catch a fish. Um, we'll anchor on a spot and sit there while we fight the fish, and that way we don't drift halfway across the river and are uh, off of our spot. So uh, this hummingbird and Minkota is a great combination to help uh, with this river fishing. We'll get the baits back down here and see if we can get some more. Hey, got our first fish of the morning here on the river. Small little eater-sized walleye. But a uh, nice start to our morning. Uh, we're on a large river here. Uh, I'm going to put him back. Nice little male. We're on a large river here in a busy metropolitan area. Um, and we headed down river a little bit from the landing and we're near a confluence with another river that comes in. And uh, we've got a steep bank right along here. Uh, the bank above shore doesn't look steep, but there's a steep drop in the water and we've got a current eddy area. Actually, the current is pretty still or even coming back upstream there. Uh, so right along the bottom of that break and that stiller current, uh, I'm using, this is just a uh, Lindy Jig, a 3 8 ounce uh, chartreuse in pink. Uh, with a rattle chamber on it, so you get that little bit of a rattle in there. Uh, tipped with a fathead middle, and we're just uh, holding that jig just above the bottom and uh, just dropping the check bottom once in a while and then just swimming it, just holding it just off the bottom and just letting it flutter in that current and that middle flop. And uh, that walleye, we just barely got started here and that walleye smoked it. So uh, we'll get back to it here and see if we can get some more. All right, uh, Nate's got one. My dad, Nate Swick, has got one on here. What do we got? Uh, another small walleye. Uh, didn't take long, though. We just caught that other one, and now we got this one. Uh, that one's on a white uh, Lindy jig with a rattle chamber. So we'll get him back and uh, go get some more. All right, and my dad here's got another one again. Ready to bring her aboard. Uh, about a 14 incher. So we've been catching lots of fish this size. A couple smaller. We've had a couple of nice ones come unbuttoned a little bit bigger. So we're definitely on them here. I think chartreuse might be the color. My dad's on to a uh, chartreuse whistler jig here. Switched and got one pretty quick. So chartreuse or chartreuse in pink seems to be the color. So uh, yeah, whistler there about a half ounce. Nice fish. We'll get back to it here and hopefully we'll get some more. Hey, we're on the Mississippi still here. Still in that same spot. Thank you, John. Got a nice, uh, another nice eating sizer. All males, the females haven't started running yet. We're only in March here. But uh, nice male. Thunk that jig pretty good. Again, just uh, well, what's left of a minnow, but the minnow on that uh, 3 8 ounce jig has been the weight. Nice uh, 15, 16 incher there. Nice healthy fish. So uh, we've been stacking them up pretty good. And uh, it's catch and release here on pool two on the Mississippi. So if you wanted to keep some fish, boy, that would be a nice one in a pan. But uh, this is all catch and release here. So we'll let him go and we'll get back at it and uh, see if we can find some more. All right. Nice walleye here on the Mississippi. Look at that. We got another here. There we go. That's a nice 17, 18 incher there. Boy, he smacked that jig. I saw it. He, he did. Hit, didn't he? he just hit it when he got on. Look at that. John got a nice one there. There's Mississippi still, River fishing. Still biting. Troy Smutka and his dad, Nate. It's the 28th of uh, March. It's a beautiful day, and I just caught. A nice walleye on the road. Awesome. We'll get after him some cool. more. Okay, uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, hook our hook in this minnow fish in the river. Going to hold the minnow like that. We're going to put the hook into his mouth, take it back a little behind his head, and kind of bring it up. Oh, I'd call it his shoulders, right? Out through his shoulders. Then you thread him on. He threads on nice and straight. That jig sits down there and dances around. That rattle's rattling and that minnow's flopping, and it's working so far. Uh, that's a good way to hook a minnow when you're going to vertical fish a jig, uh, right like that. It'll stay on there and uh, is in line. We didn't cut its head, so it's, we didn't uh, injure the brain. The fish is, or the minnow's alive and flopping. That should help you out, vertical fish and jigs. Okay. Uh, got another one here on the Mississippi. I want to smack that 
Lindy jig. Another uh, nice eater there. Maybe a 15 incher or so. I uh, had a big one, another big one come off a little while ago. Uh, Try to get one of those big ones in here yet, but uh, we're still in that same uh, on that same sharp break we showed you. Um, still working the vertically working the jig, tip with the minnow and swimming that along down there right in this kind of current break right at the base of the sharp drop off. So nice fish. We'll get them back and we'll go get another one. Hey, well, we uh, fished uh, quite a while here on that break that we showed you on the locator and a couple of holes near the confluence here, but the bite's starting to slow a little bit, so we're gonna take a little run here and we're gonna head up the dam, uh, up towards the dam, so we'll get a little running shots here heading up the river and then we'll see if we catch some more fish up by the dam. shallower, uh, faster water, you can see right over there, um, the tail race coming out from the, uh, lock, or from the dam itself, and then we're right below the lock, and we're going to follow this break, current break, and there's a, a depth break as well, deeper water here, and we'll stay just out of that current, just below the deeper the ledge down to the deeper water, and uh, see if we can pop a few more fish here. Well, uh, that takes care of our first episode of fishing and hunting the North Country with Troy Smutka. Uh, hopefully you learned some tips about fishing uh, from boat on the river as well as fishing from shoreline on the river. Uh, we were fishing the shorelines uh, on the small rivers in February when the uh, walleye open water season was still open here in Minnesota. Um, now we're uh, not able to fish on inland rivers or lakes, but we can fish the rivers that form the borders. So we were in, on, in March here on the Mississippi River uh, fishing from a boat. Um, either way, um, enjoy when we get, to, especially we get some of this warm weather in the spring, get out and enjoy. You can catch walleyes, northerns, uh, a little bit of everything on rivers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.